Howdy, howdy, howdy. Welcome to Rise of the Silver Surfer. Ewan. Ni hao. Buddy. Me. Are you ready to know all the movies that Tom Hanks has been in? Uh, I mean, uh, are you ready to start a, a, another game? Because we're always playing something different. We do this a lot, Dang. Right? They're already Silver Surfer hunting or whatever. Oh, yeah. This is final. <laughs> this is final fantasy. Final count. Down. Doodle dude. Are you okay? Okay, your mouths don't match up. Is this supposed to be in a different language? It's Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> I could see that. Yeah. Okay. Stinky storm. I don't know. Stinky storm there. She's got smaller tatas than uh, the incredible honk. I think I have bigger tits than she does. <laughs> but I mean look at uh, Mr. Elastic's booty though when he turns around he's packing some heat back there shouldn't let the fire guy be packing the heat nah you'd think but you'd be he's wrong he's playing it cool hey Tom Hanks has seven writer credits can you name any of the movies that Tom Hanks is in uh Forrest Gump Toy Story one Toy Story two I hate you Toy Story three there are four of them Toy Story 4, Toy Story, something about uh, Forky. Was... That Time Forgot, and Of Terror, and Partysaurus Rex, yeah. <laughs> Check this out. Head bonk. I hate it already. Is this XCOM? Bonk. Is that what this is? No, I wish. That would be kind of cool. Bonk. You're no match for us. The Swap to Rock Dude. Uh, The Rock. The Rock. Dwayne. Get Johnson! Touch Um, my Johnson! It has a health bar? Yup. Oh. Are you in the Fantastic Four Tower, whatever it's called? No. Oh. We went into a cave and now we're all of a sudden in a gigantic facility. Like we stepped five steps in, a rock fell in front of us, and now we're in a huge facility above ground and below ground. Oh, it's a good thing I was paying attention this whole time. Which means what exactly? Can Kay. you skip any of this? Nope. <sighs> You're wrong, Flame Wayne. I hate it already. Oh no. Stretchy man <clears throat> is gonna stretch. So the reason why I was looking at Pong Hanks is because I was looking for other voice actors who are in lots of things. Yes. Because I'd like to do like a dream team where they these voice actors do like all the parts in an animated show and I'm like Billy West would be a good one and Tara Strong would be a good one and who else uh let's think oh the scroll what the hell aren't they from the Marvel thing with the cinematic universe is this not a Marvel game it's a Fox game I think So, Disney owns it then? Now. Yes, because Disney owns Fox. Yeah. Just to own the Marvel stuff, I think. They might not own the character licenses. No, I think that's the only reason they purchased it. (laughs) Everything else that came with it was just a bonus. To make another crappy Fantastic Four movie? Uh, Because none of them are any good. And there's a lot of them. There's four of them now? I don't know. There was a remake recently. That was awful. Did you know that the new <laughs> Venom movie that's supposed to come out might have Spider-Man in it, but it won't affect any of the Marvel stuff, which is just stupid. Because owning a character doesn't mean you own the character, it just means you own the rights to use the character sometimes. Did you know that Venom would also pleasure Eddie Brock to get him to do what he wanted? Yes. That's gross and weird. The same thing happens with uh, <laughs> Master Chief and Cortana. This is hot, though. <laughs> He's just sitting there like... Mm. And they walk up. Hey, what's going on, Master Chief? There, there's an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie where there's like a holographic person that like fondles up Schwarzenegger in like one of the scenes. I saw a picture of <laughs> Schwarzenegger recently when he was 16. He's freaking yoked. Yeah? He's 
buff as can be. People are like, oh, anime characters look so disproportionate when they're supposed to be teenagers. That's because Arnold Schwarzenegger was on steroids until he was like 40. Yeah. He was and beefed up. Then he became the governor, and then it all went to hell. Uh, hello? No, he boinked the, the that was before. cleaner later. That was long before. Yeah, but that kind of was his downfall. So, yeah. That's nothing to do with steroids. I don't know. It makes your nuts <laughs> small. I don't know. What? That has nothing to do with anything. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe she liked them small, and that was the entire point of being Maybe you can stop now. That'd be great, thanks. I'm still trying to find another voice actor. Did Tobey Maguire do anything? Oh, yeah, he does a lot. <laughs> He's in a lot of animated stuff. Uh. Am I supposed to be someone else to beat up the guys in the air? Or am I supposed to just break stuff? This game sucks. It does. Hello, am I supposed to shoot fire at you? How do you spell Toby Maguire's last name? Mag... Wire. M-A-G-U-I-R-E. There's a U in there? Okay. Yeah, Gwai. That's how I didn't get it. I get it now. He does quite a bit. 51 actor credits. Hey! It's not too bad. It's uh, still not like Billy West level. No, not at all. Uh, Mr. Fantastic, can you use the electric shocker? 254. Terra Strong has like 500 and something. But look at what stuff he's been in. See if it's anything decent. No. No? No, no. Not worth your time? No. Alright. Time is money. <laughs> And I'm freaking poor. And I'm not getting paid. <laughs> yeah. Um, who else? Come on, man. Uh, I don't know. I don't watch enough stuff these days. The dude who plays Luke from Star Wars. Uh, Mark Hamill. Who is also the Joker. Yeah. He's just the Joker perpetually now. But he's the best Joker. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. No debate there. There we go. 351 credits. Holy moly. Just for actor. Just for acting? Yeah. What about voice acting? It's included. Okay. Um, but he's got finished. like producer, soundtrack, director, miscellaneous, writer, casting, special thanks. <laughs> special Dankeschön. Yeah. I wonder what's in the story, thanks. Um, quite read. What about... Classic Batman. Uh, Adam West. <laughs> We're getting good at this. Yeah. I can remember some things occasionally. I mean, you can't be anything because he's dead. But if he wasn't... <sighs> he has... 200! That's pretty good. I mean, it's still not Billy West. No. <laughs> Is he just the benchmark? Yeah. Um, let's think for a moment. Thinking, thinking. I'm bad at thinking. Bad at you. Um, Steve Urkel, Julio. What's Julio being in? I don't know. From Family Matters. Family doesn't matter. Hmm. Ouch. <laughs> Family gray matter? My brain... Mmm, brains. Julie White. Yeah, Julia. Um. 94. Damn. Did you ever watch the Emoji movie? Yes. What Why about was it? Patrick Stewart in that? Because he was the poop emoji, and it's a f funny joke. Yeah. Not very funny, though. The new animated Darkwing Duck series. They redid all the voices for Huey, Dewey, and Louie, mm -hmm. and each of those voice actors are in everything. We can't get close enough to disable that door. Uh, yeah. I've watched some of that recent one. From 2017? I've watched Duck some Tales. of uh, DuckTales, yeah. Ben Schwartz is Dewey. Ben Schwartz. Huey and Louie. Huey, Pooey, and Dewey. So ben Schwartz has... Who's in the Sonic the Hedgehog movie? Okay. 
87. Not enough. Not for my dream team. Wasn't Ben Schwartz Sonic? Yes. Yeah. 77 for Danny. Nope, not enough. Um, What's Bobby? 123. He hits the 100 mark. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Secret um, Life of Pets, Star Wars, Saturday Night Live. I got a question. Yes. So, you are quite good with the culinary arts, yes? I've been known to dabble. What is your best meal? Like, what are you best at making? Caesar salad. Oh, Caesar salad. Such a good food. I love romaine lettuce and just Caesar <laughs> dressing. And by, so by that I mean I can make dressing from scratch by memory. Ooh, with the anchovy paste and everything? Yeah. Oh, sweet. I think I've done that once. With like extra, extra garlic. And just for fun, you like make a little, like little raspberry cubes. Or uh, strawberry. Strawberry is better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I recently had a strawberry raspberry. and uh, spinach salad that? with poppy seed dressing. Yeah. It's really good. I'm, I don't care for poppy seeds. They're only good in bagels. Uh, I like poppy seed dressing, but it's got so much sugar in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wasn't trained very much in the way of cooking. Uh -huh. My cooking class I went to in school was... Alright. You're here. <laughs> Here's the ingredients. Try to make something and see who makes the best thing. Uh -huh. I won every single time except for once out of that entire course out of like five groups my home at cooking class we had a, a free day so we had like a day to prepare like we had to write down our recipe itinerary and like bring all the ingredients and cook it and then uh -huh. we got to eat, eat lunch that's what our lunch was that day and everyone was like simple things like pasta and a sandwich and I made fajitas for our entire table Ooh, so I was like nice. frying my own peppers and like doing all the chicken with my own uh, flavorings and like I made little tortilla shells and whew, nice. for yeah. four people and we had like three of them each. Oh. Yeah. And I had like guacamole and sour cream and shredded cheese. Yeah. yeah. My cooking class was you show up, the teacher brought a bunch of ingredients. You have to make something with that and anything else in there. So it's like Iron Chef, but worse. Yes. And <laughs> yes. I was pretty good at it, actually. That's my entire thing with cooking is just make what you can with what you've got at the time. That was my whole, like, growing up. Yeah, I, I my, know what you mean. My my mom wasn't the greatest mom. And she's like, well, I don't want to cook food today, so it's a uh, fend for yourself night. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she called it. Uh, so I'm familiar with that. That's how I learned how to make omelets and that's how i learned how to do pasta and how i learned how to cook a steak properly i think one of the only things that pancakes we made with the teacher's help was some sort of pasta with cooked clams that we made like in the shell and everything oh yeah and it was really fancy because she was retiring <laughs> is her last day so she brought in the nice wine yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and uh, Got super yeah. sloshed by the end. Have you ever cooked with alcohol before? Yes. Not oh, yeah. too much, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no not, not that drinking way. it, but like putting it in the food. <laughs> yeah, I've done it a little bit. You I like to cook steak with you. a bit of red wine and stuff like that. I like to marinate steak in red wine. Yeah, that's also a good way to yeah. do it. It's the best way to do it. It really is. The steak I had the other day was delish. I made it nice, medium rare. Ooh. Oh, so good. Nice little bit of blood in it. Uh, Kobe beef. Uh, blue. Ooh. You get some oil, just a skiff of oil, just the smallest little whiff of oil on a pan, and like crank the heat all the way up, and just sear it on both sides and serve it. Ooh. Yeah, that's it. That's all you need. You don't even need to f a little bit of salt and pepper, and that's about it. Kobe yeah. beef is the best. I don't care what it's made from. I don't care how cute cows are. They're delicious. <laughs> yeah, I... Gotta eat them before they eat you. I was kind of the leader of our little cooking group because each group had like three people, two people in it. Yeah. And I would just tell everyone what to do. And a girl joined my group and then immediately afterwards she's like, Hey, do you want to go on a date with me? And I'm like, 
No. Uh, sorry. Pass. I guess you liked being told what to do or something? Because <laughs> I'm just like, wow. do this now. And get it done. Mix this. Grab this ingredient. Do you have her number? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm She's like, hey, can I have your number? Yeah. And I'm like, uh, no, sorry. <laughs> uh, good times. You probably missed out on something great. Uh, you, from what I know of you, for the past, what, two years almost? How long has it been? Almost two years. No, it's been almost three. Really? 2017. Oh my god, what year is it now? 2020. 2020. Oh no. Yeah. I can't do math. <laughs> <laughs> That's the takeaway. Uh, <laughs> but as you were saying... <laughs> what? From what you know of me... Okay, you like to mansplain things to people. Yeah. But when I'm not doing that, I'm ordering them around. Hero defeated. You lo What? The invisible woman's being defeated. When a hero is overcome, they turn red and recover. Oh, okay. Okay. So, they're not dead. No. They just come back in, like, a minute. That's no big loss. Mm-hmm. No, it's just the invisible woman. We couldn't even tell she was gone. Yeah, she was invisible. Couldn't see her. This whole time? Nope. I'm still looking for my uh, third voice actor for my dream team. Do you remember when the guy who played House... Tara Strong played Toot from Drawn Together? Are you kidding me? Do you remember the guy who played House? What about him? He was in Stuart Little 1 and 2. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's All right. pertinent information, but I thought you needed to know that. Thanks. Yeah. My life is so much better knowing that. Yeah. Yeah. He was the dad. Oh, here we go. Jess Harnell. He has 361 credits, including Animaniacs. And a lot of things, including Star Trek Lower Decks, which I mentioned earlier. Uh, uh, Animaniacs. Yeah. Holy crap. Yep, I found my dream team. All right. <laughs> oh, boy. Those three people. Billy West, Tara Strong, Jess Harnell. Whew. We did it. A lot of stuff. Whoa, a map. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Can you not? <laughs> it just pops up like that. Can, can you not? Wow, you can just pick people up, huh? Thunk. What about the guy who played Louis from Life with Louis? <sighs> no. Do you like the shadows? Look, look below us. Do you see a ground? And look at the low poly shadow. His head is not even attached. Or it is by a little stick. Now, why would it do that? Uh, to make it look like you're casting a shadow? They just have a tiny character model. I bet. Because how they do uh, reflections, that's flipped geometry on the other side. So that's actually being projected on the ceiling. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Possibly. Also, some of the bad guys have reflections or shadows some don't might just be to save on space probably life with Louie oh it's just Louie Anderson that makes sense now mm -hmm. I'm Louie Anderson oh family guy he's still alive apparently alright Doesn't he's still doing stuff doesn't Seth MacFarlane just, like, hate Family Guy now? And wants to do other stuff? For years. And that's why he made the Orville. He, he said he'll keep doing Family Guy until it stops making money. Uh, makes sense. Yeah. Wow, I finally leveled up. The thing has new ground attack. Press X when an enemy is lying on the ground. Seth MacFarlane has 33 writer credits. 56 actor credits. No, he can't be on my dream team, sorry. What a shame. <laughs> Shameful. <laughs> what a what a horrible, terrible shame. What a terrible, horrible, deplorable. Ah, okay. So Cree Summer, who is also in Drawn Together, has 328 actor credits. Including like Star Wars and He-Man and Muppet Babies and 
Thundercats and a whole bunch of DC stuff as Catwoman, by the way. Ooh. Ooh. My favorite DC villain is Catwoman. And why is that? Tight leather. Yeah. yeah. What? Shut up. I agree, though. Come on. Oh, no. Invisible lady. Do My just... favorite Catwoman is still Halle Berry. Eh. Just because of the costume. The costume is pretty I mean, good. the movie is terrible. And the acting's not great, but... Someone somewhere has that high-poly 3D model sitting on a computer. <laughs> and I will pay big money for it. I mean, not the biggest money, but like $1,000. That's a lot of money. Yeah. If I can get that model in like a Maya format or something, I'll take it. Mm. <laughs> no one's going to offer it up, though. Why would they? Because they probably... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping it all in... Oh, she's Wuya from Jelen Chronicles and Jelen Showdown? Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. She's in Rick and Morty? I liked Shaolin Showdown. I think I still have the DVD of the first season. Yeah, Showdown is good, but Chronicles is awful. Really? Yeah. Sorry, What's the difference? But we've yet to reach um... Uh, Except I've tried looking up Shaolin Showdown and Chronicles is the only thing that'll come up. I think I have it on DVD if you want to borrow Showdown. Huh. I think so. I don't know. I haven't looked at my DVD collection for a while. The last one I bought was Utopia. Mm -hmm. It's actually a pretty good movie. I think before then was like the season, every season of House and that was it. So it's been a couple of years. Yeah. I th are we done? Can we like do something else? Yeah, I think Please? we're done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I haven't seen a single thing that you've done yet. I haven't paid attention to it You're very like, much. Hey, look, I leveled up for the first time. I look up, look back down again. Yeah, there's nothing going on. No. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, we're not coming back to this. No. It's it's just bland. I'm sure normally some people find it fun, but normally it's like, oh, if you want to do a request, you know, we'll play more of this game. But this game sometimes they're, no, they're just not worth sports games. No. no. Golf games? Eh, maybe. That weird Kim Possible slash Jake Long. Those games that are exactly the same yeah, game? Yeah, running on the same engine? What's up with yeah. that? No. It's just cheap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks. Bye. Bye.